Hello and welcome back to Lee TV. My name's Joe, and today I've snuck in to the Christmas craft studio. Hey, what are you doing in here? I got creative after our last video. <gasps> and I made a toilet roll nativity. That looks so cool. I'm loving yeah. it. And I was just about to show everyone at home how to make a toilet paper angel. <laughs> the things you'll need for this are some paper, a toilet roll tube, a pipe cleaner, I've chosen white, a glue stick, some scissors, a pencil, black felt tip or marker, and then another colour of your choice for the hair. I've chosen yellow. Wonderful. 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 So, first of all, you take your toilet roll. Cool. And on your bit of paper, you put it along the side about three quarters of the way up so that you've got room for the head. Cool. Okay. And I normally draw a little mark just to show where that goes. In the bottom of that is. And then I start to roll the paper up, roll it around the tube, so it goes just over the length of the tube so that you can glue it down. Then I draw another little mark with the pencil to show how long it needs to be. You may need an adult's help with this. You can take your scissors and you cut that bit out. And then just a bit of glue on the edge of the paper, like so. And you stick it to the toilet roll so it's nice and flat along the bottom. And then when you get to this bit, you should have a bit that overhangs. And you just put glue on that end and stick it on top. Something a bit like this. Next, what I like to do is I like to take my black marker or another colour if you choose to draw your face. So I do it on the opposite side to where the join is. So I'll do it on this side. And I just draw two eyes and a big smiley mouth, like so. Now with the hair, it always tends to go, you always need to go bigger because you could go too small. It took me a long time to get that hair right. So just cut out a bit of extra paper. The brilliant thing about this is you can do it all out of one sheet and then you can draw your preferred hairstyle but making sure there's a gap so that your face can slit in in the middle. You can do any style you like. I'm going with your classic, kind of like a bob. Call it a bob. It is a bob. I think it's a bob. bob. It's your choice which way around you do it. I think we should colour ours in first. Okay. I said, I'm going with a blonde, Sarah's... I'm going with brown. Sarah's no. going with a brown. So, you've now coloured that in. Uh, try and cut it out around the lines. Now, this might be hard, but if you have some patience, you can give it a go. Once you've made your hair, you can stick it to your angel. Now, what I like to do is glue just above the top of the eyes and down the side of the face a bit. <laughs> then it may look something like this. I think my first attempt was a lot better than this attempt. <laughs> Next up, take your bit of paper that you have left over and then fold it so you have two equal bits that you can turn into your wings. I took my toilet roll just so I can get the size and then just a bit up from the bottom drew the bottom at the top and then I just made half a heart shape using my pencil. Amazing. And then using your scissors again you can get your adult to help you. You just cut that out making sure you've got both halves of the paper. And then once you've done that so it should look something like this. Ooh. <laughs> it should look something like this. I didn't mean to drop that. <laughs> and Every angel needs a halo. Oh, yes. So, you take your pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and get your scissors, and you just cut your pipe cleaner. And so, to make your halo, roughly about halfway along that new half of the pipe cleaner, I put my finger, and I just take the other bit, make it into a loop, and then give it a twist. Yeah, and then you just fold the halo down, so it will sit over the top of the angel's head. Put some glue on the back of the halo, and that will sit 
just inside the wings uh, so it sits on top of the angel's head and there you have it a toilet paper angel oh i love it it's it's such an inventive way of making nativity. <laughs> and I also love the fact that you made the stable out of um, toilet rolls too. Yes, everything you see here is made out of toilet rolls oh. or paper. Do you know, just looking at this, my, I just have to think about my favourite character from the nativity story. It's got to be Mary. I just think she was just so young and brave and like, it's just so hard to kind of understand what she went oh. through. I'm going to go and ask her, see how she felt just after the angel told her that she's going to have a baby. Okay. Whoa, you're Mary and you're Joseph. Have you been told that you're going to be Jesus's mother yet? Yeah, I, I just found out. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm a bit nervous. Um, I'm quite young and a bit inexperienced, but it's what God wants, so I guess I just have to. Joseph, how do you feel about this? Hmm, I don't know. When Mary told me that she's pregnant, I was shocked because I knew that I'm not the father, but then an angel person appeared and, and, and she said it's all right, so I just go with that. Ah, oh, well that's brilliant. Um, I suppose I better let you get on with the story. Nice meeting you. <gasps> oh, how was it? How was Mary? Ah, oh, it was amazing. Joseph was there as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but Mary was saying about how, how she was quite scared mm. and quite nervous because obviously it is a massive task, like having a baby anyway, but she's so young. But also it's God's baby. That's such a scary thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, we hope you've had fun today here on Lee TV. We've I had, certainly have. <laughs> we've had an amazing time making our angels and going and seeing Mary and Joseph. Uh, it was brilliant. And we'll see you again tomorrow. And remember, stay, stay awesome. awesome. Bye.